Welcome to Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, guy who refuses to develop a palate for coffee and wine so he can keep being cheap. Our top story tonight, on Monday, one of the biggest nights in music took place. And, uh, nope, not that one. Try again. There we go. The 58th Annual Grammy Awards took place, where pop sensation slash after-school special villain who runs against the protagonist for student body president, Taylor Swift, became the first woman to win two Album of the Year awards, and had this to say. To all the young women out there, if you just focus on the work, someday when you get where you're going, you will know that it was you and the people who love you who put you there, and that will be the greatest feeling in the world. So, just goes to show women, all you need to be successful is a little hard work, and the love of nine exclusively male writers and producers. Why do you make it so hard to love you? And who did your bang? Someone who actually hates women in music? At least we know where she got all that shade to throw. Moving on, the VA came under fire this week when it came to light that their suicide hotline was going to voicemail, revealing their latest strategy be so ridiculously inept that veterans delay their own suicides just to tell people how useless the VA is. But hey, he saved one life. What have you done today? Hey, I said no animal segments. This week, a newborn baby was found in a toilet of a Subway restaurant in California. But hey, who wouldn't want to make extra room for more $6 classic footlongs only until the end of February? Mm. On Thursday, the editor of the Huffington Post stated that only real journalism comes from unpaid writers. In related news, apparently I'm more of a journalist than all these people. And, uh, don't ask me how long it took to Photoshop that. Uh, but let's just say it could have been enough hours of being paid to not be a real restaurant employee to make rent this month. Yeah. With the biggest night in music having just passed, it's about time to start covering the biggest night in film. And to do that, we turn to our intern who took the time to watch all of the nominated pictures, Leslie Connors. Les... Oops! Not who you're expecting! Surprise, motherfucker! Uh, hey Dom. What are you doing here? Fixing your hashtag coverage so white of hashtag Oscar so white Nesquik style. Okay. Well. You weren't supposed to agree so fast. I mean, as long as you watched all the nominated films. What? Who has that kind of time? Ugh, white people. Well, that's uncalled for. I bet you're even caught up on Game of Thrones with all that extra time not fighting oppression. Uh, yeah. I am. You don't even realize how hashtag Game of Thrones so white that show is, do you? How? It's fictional. Fantasy. Author could have mixed races like a poorly organized track and field. Unnecessary metaphor. But what do we get? Yet another medieval white people land. Surprise they don't break out in hockey between sword fights. Well, uh, wait, there's, there's been black people on the show. Yeah, this guy. Remember what they made the character do? Ah. Uh. Steal the poor white girl's dragons. Yeah. While fronting that he was rich, when really he spent it all on bling. Okay, yeah, it's pretty racist. But the Oscars... Are an old <laughs> Mickey Mouse cartoon compared to Game of Thrones. What? Come on. In the past 20 years, 13% of the Oscars have been won by black people, and 13% of the population is black. Pretty cut and dry. Cut and dry? Are we talking racism or white people haircuts? I just don't see where the problem is. Black people have to work harder to be noticed. And not just because amateurs can't light a set. I still don't... Think of the people that win Oscars. Okay. Roles with weird accents, right? Well, yeah. Guess which movies have the most weird accents? Adam Sandler movies? Period pieces. Oh. Not a lot of finagling for roles before 1960, huh? You can always invent future accents. Uh, remember Tom Hanks and Cloud Atlas, right? He was all like, the true, true. The true, 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 true. If your standard is a stuttering two chains. So how do we make it more fair? Rewrite history? You want to cast Denzel Washington as George Washington? Uh, yeah. 
That would be amazing. I know, right? You'd be all, my colonist. The founding brother. We need Spike Lee's number. You say that like I don't already have it. Oh, what about a black Hitler? What about Tyler Perry? Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what about Latinos and Asians? Don't they not show up on camera? No, that's, that's vampires. Another demographic not represented by the Academy. Why am I not surprised? The 2010s definitely disagree. Wait, what happened to the other correspondent? Oh, I told her she could twerk and she had to go show all her friends. Dom De Silva, everyone. Moving on, on Thursday, during the Pope's trip to Mexico, he told the youth Jesus would not want them to be hitmen. In related news, apparently Jesus is doing more to fight typecasting than the Oscars. Quick life hack. Can't get a stain out of your shirt? Just stain the rest of your shirt that color. In sad, slippery mammal wear news, this week in Argentina, a baby dolphin died after tourists passed it around to take selfies with. Cause of death? Probably embarrassment. On Wednesday, Yahoo posted an article detailing that sweatpants from Kanye's new fashion line will cost $510. In related news, apparently Yahoo is now using reporters looking for sweatpants to cover fashion stories. This just in, that argument you scripted while in the shower went nothing like you planned because people are unpredictable and you're not as smart as you think. This week it came to light that presidential candidate slash likely owner of several uppity bumper stickers, Hillary Clinton, believes she can talk to the dead. But it's not that hard of a mistake to make when this is what your fan base looks like, right? Could lose a wallet in those wrinkles. Popular heartburn drugs have been linked to dementia, which might explain why every day after eating wings, I'm like, I'll never eat spicy food again, and then proceed to order Indian. What? That's how much Legos cost now? And that's it for your apathetic weekend update. Uh, if you made it all the way through the video without taking everything I said literally and with intent to denounce me the next time you win an award, please like, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe. And yeah, I've been your host, a uh, guy who somehow managed to go 25 years without learning the difference between pretty girls flirting and just being nice to them. Good night. Ugh, that's getting out of control. Ugh. Nope.